As you just heard Stacy say, we are not yet done with this heat wave. We are not. News 10 NBC's Antonina Totorello spoke to one local doctor about what you need to do to stay safe in times of extreme heat. On a hot day like today, everyone's number one priority is just trying to stay cool. Dr. Daniel Shand has seen what happens if you don't. So for moderate illness, it can be things like headache, uh, dizziness, or lightheadedness. And then for the more severe, it's very high body temperatures and changes in mental status, even to the point of unresponsiveness. He says the best way to avoid this is by staying out of the heat. Whether that's shade or more ideally a place that is climate controlled, air conditioned. Now, behind me is one of the many cooling centers here in Rochester that have become increasingly popular to use on days like today. Chastity Smith and her son come here often to cool down on hot days. I go in there um, and get wet a little bit with my body, or I go in the center and cool off a little bit. They also got AC in there, so we stay cool in there. And he can play at the gym and they have lunch here. Besides staying cool, Shan says it's also important to stay hydrated. Our bodies cool themselves by sweating and, and by the sweat evaporating off our skin. And if we're not hydrated, then we're not able to kind of support that cooling process. That's something Mikhail Masula hears a lot. They're always talking about that on these hot days. Just like always drink. Like we even have like five water bottles in our stroller full of ice water. So we, yeah, just stay hydrated. So whether you're at a splash pad with the kids or in the comfort of your own AC at home, on hot days like today, stay cool, stay hydrated, and stay safe. In Rochester, Antonina Tortorello, News 10, NBC.